Hi everyone, it's V with Real Journal Talk. And so today's video is going to be my bi-weekly paycheck to paycheck for the week of February the 3rd through February the 9th. If you're interested in seeing how I set up my bi-weekly paycheck, please keep watching. So I want to um, thank everyone for returning back to my channel um, so, and supporting the channel. And for anyone that is new, welcome. And I hope that you consider clicking that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen, as well as that notification bell. So that way you are notified of any videos that I may post. So I currently, for those who are not familiar, I currently utilize the, uh, happy planner budget planner to do my budget and so i already set up my february budget if you have not had the opportunity to check that video out um please do so I, if i remember i'll link it above but for this particular video what we're doing is we're just going in and allocating uh what i need to pay for this upcoming pay period so let me okay so we're in february so i already have the february um set up um now i just need to go in and and set up what needs to come out of this upcoming paycheck Let me see what I have to work with because I am utilizing certain stickers. I just want to make sure that I have them set out. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and label what I need, how I want to categorize it. Let me make sure that I'm following what I did last time. Okay. So I don't have a black pen. We'll be just using blue for today. So we're going to put the income. Um the budgeted amount and the actual plus minus. So for this pay pair, we're looking at 164424. Gonna put a little piece of wash you down to separate this column. Ooh. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, so now we're going to have bills, expenses, however you want to call it, um, the budgeted amount, the actual amount, and if I was over or right on, on target. Let's separate this. Hopefully, I have enough room to um, add the different um, bills. Uh, 
Okay, so let me go to my schedule. Okay, so let me see if you zoom in just a little bit. Right there is good. Because every time I zoom in, I kind of zoom too much. You, know, you guys can't really see it. So, so for, oh Lord, for the bills, we're looking at phone bill which includes the landline and the cell phone and we're budgeting $53.98 um Hulu at $8.54 um light bill one at $4.58.55 Credit Union at 105. Um, we have the project fund at 100. My loan at 122.52. Partial of my truck payment at 200. Um, cable. 105 credit card at 30 and then I had a miscellaneous expense of 61.45 okay I wanted to use these stickers right here. Let's see. So I'm doing my cash envelopes. And I'm just going to list them because that way, that way, even though I'm going to put the, I don't want to just put the total. I'm going to list what each item is going to represent. So we're looking at groceries at 120 gas at 50 um, the movie funding account at five dollars household and this just includes like soap dish detergent and whatnot um no uh -oh. hold um 10 and then family, 35, and then personal. Now, I don't know if I mentioned when I did my um, monthly budget um, that this is my year anniversary from when I started um, listening to the Dave Ramsey um, Financial Peace Journey um, to getting out of debt. So when I did start this and, you know, working with my budget and all that good stuff, uh, February was the first month that I decided that I was going to watch what I was spending. So um, since it's the anniversary for that, I'm going to make February as a no spend month um, with some exceptions. Um, basically, on the every other weekend, we will still have our family time together just because um, I, even though I'm budgeting for myself, um, I want to still have that for the family. But anything outside that I would not be spending any funds and like I have the $25 for myself, I will only touch that if it is an emergency because um, my goal is not to spend anything um, while I'm out. So, let's look at the next category is sinking funds. I'm not going to list those, but that is, the goal is 195 And so now we want to 
total up everything that I just said needed to come out of this actual paycheck, which is a lot that needs to come out. Um, that's one of the reasons why I am budgeting and one of the reasons why I am trying to get out of debt because I just get tired of giving my money up all, every pay period. So, and if you feel the same way, leave a comment down below and let me know um, how your journey is going and what prompted you to actually start budgeting or um, if you have been budgeting, you know, how your journey is going and um, what motivates you to keep going. So let's total this up. Is it total? Yeah, total. A lot so let's see so we're going to take the 53.98 plus the 8.54 plus the 4.58 55 plus 105 plus 100 plus 122.52 plus 200 plus 105 plus 30 plus 61.45. Ooh, no. 61.45 plus 120 plus 50 plus 5 plus 10 plus 35 plus 25 plus 195 okay so that is a total of I think something is wrong because when I did my calculations, it should have been a little something different. So let me see. Hold on, you guys. Let me check my account. Maybe I didn't add something. I know it was supposed to be. <laughs> That's what it is. Let me see. 13.73.10. Hold on. 13.73.10. Let's do this. Two. So, um, the actual income that's what it was because i know when i i was like okay something's not right so when i did my monthly budget that was what i calculated but i knew um um that it would be different and the actual amount that i know is 1735.10 Okay, so if you take the seventeen, if you take the seventeen thirty-five ten, and you subtract it by the amount, the projected balance is the fifty dollars and six cent. And the goal for that, let's see, let me see, let's 
see if I have a sticker that I can use for this, is to apply, because I don't think I included that. I did not. Is to apply $50 to save um, per pay period. And what I decided to do, excuse me, is if for some reason I needed to uh, tweak the sinking funds, I will. Um, but in this case, I'm going to um, leave it as, as it is and just put that towards the um, savings. And I'm just going to use this sticker that I have with the um, Petite Planner Budget Book by Erin Condren right here. I'm just going to use this little saving stickers just to include that right there because that's where that's going. And that is actually... Let me see if I can zoom out. Uh-oh. I'm zooming in. There we go. So that is actually... Um, the budget for this week if for some if something changes of course you'll uh, you'll know once um, I come in and do my weekly uh, checkup or my um, mid budget review to show what's been paid and what was not paid but this is what we're looking at right now as of today so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did I hope you consider giving me a big thumbs up as well as subscribing to my channel um, and clicking that notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload any videos. So, um, once again, thank you. And you all have a wonderful, excuse me, a wonderful day. Goodbye.